how to fix slow download speeds on Epic Games Launcher. Are you tired of waiting forever for games to download or update on the Epic Games Launcher? Well, let me tell you a quick fix to speed up the process. First, go to your start menu and type in percentage sign local app data percentage sign. Once you're in that folder, press E until you find the Epic Games Launcher folder. Then, navigate to Saved, Config, Windows, and open the engine file. If there's any random text in there, just delete it so it's empty. Then, copy and paste all these command lines I'm giving you into that file in the description. Finally, save the file and you're good to go. After you've completed those steps, head down to your taskbar, right-click on it, and select Task Manager. In Task Manager, scroll down to find the Epic Games Launcher under Processes. Click on the drop-down arrow, then right-click on the launcher itself and choose Details. Inside this, right-click on it again and select Set Priority. By default, it's usually set to normal, but you want to change it to high. It might prompt you to confirm this change. Just click on Change Priority and you're all set. Alright, next up, let's head back to the Start menu, but this time, dive into the settings. Look for Network and Internet, and then select your connection type, whether it's your Wi-Fi or Ethernet. For me, it's Ethernet. Scroll down until you spot DNS Server Alignment and click on Edit. By default, it's usually set to Automatic, but you want to switch it to Manual. Now, select the IPv4 setting. You'll see Preferred DNS and Alternative DNS. For the primary, you've got a couple of options. You can use the Google DNS or the Cloudflare DNS. I'm going with the Google one, so that's 4 8s for the primary and 2 8s and 2 4s for the secondary. And your DNS is updated to Google's. Now if you're on Xbox, follow the instructions on screen to change your DNS. Same goes for PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. Oh, and if you're wondering how to find the best DNS server, there's this cool program called DNS Benchmark. It checks the performance of local and remote DNS servers to find the best one for you. I tried it, and Google DNS came out on top for me. Some folks prefer to test it themselves. You can do that too by opening up CMD as an administrator and typing in ping followed by the DNS server of your choice. I tested the Google one, and as you can see from the results, it's pretty solid. That's why I stick with it. Alright, next step is to open up your device manager. In there, under network adapters, you'll find your Ethernet or Wi-Fi card connection. Mine's Ethernet, so I spotted it easily. Look for the brand specifically. For me, it's Intel. Once you know the brand, fire up your browser and type in the brand followed by network, driver, and your current operating system. The top result should be the latest driver. Yep, that's the one I need. Check to make sure the version matches the latest one, then download and install it. You can also right-click on it and select Update Driver to automatically search for drivers. Sometimes it doesn't work, but in my case, since I did a manual install, I know I'm on the latest driver. I'm big on keeping these drivers updated. It really seems to boost the overall performance of my network connection. Alright, next up, let's head back into CMD again. Don't forget to click Run as Administrator. Now, if I'm facing any kind of internet hiccups, I'll type in ipconfig then slash flush DNS like this. What this does is, it clears out the DNS resolver cache, essentially wiping out all IP addresses and other DNS records stored in your cache. It's a little trick that can actually help with internet connectivity issues. I like to do it every now and then just to keep things running smoothly. Another thing to keep in mind, especially if you're experiencing turtle speed downloads, is the Epic Games server status. Right now, everything seems to be running smoothly as you can see here. But it's not always sunshine and rainbows. Sometimes it's all choppy or worse, everything's in the red zone and sometimes it just craps out altogether. To check the service status, just hop over to Google and type in Epic Games Service Status. It should be the first link that pops up. It's pretty detailed, breaking down the status of every single server they've got. They've got Fortnite, the Epic Games Store, their online services, the whole shebang. Sometimes you might find that the store page is down, so you can't buy anything. Other times, it might just be the voice chat or messaging system acting wonky. But what we're really concerned about here is the download and installation part. So, if you're having issues, it might just be related to this. Alright, now let's fire up the Epic Games Launcher. Head to the top right corner and click on Settings. Scroll down a tad and you should spot a setting called Throttle Downloads. Make sure that box is unchecked. This is crucial for ensuring your downloads aren't being slowed down intentionally. Additionally, I like to turn off the desktop notifications for free game notifications and news and special offer notifications. 
these can cause ping spikes and might mess with your downloads if they pop up while you're in the middle of downloading something. So uncheck those boxes too for a smoother experience. Another trick I like to try out is clearing the cache of the Epic Games launcher. To do this, press the Windows key and R simultaneously, then type in percentage sign local app data percentage sign. Hit enter, then navigate to the Epic Games launcher folder by pressing E until you find it. Inside, you'll see a folder named Saved. In there, you'll find another folder called Web Cache. This folder contains the cache of the Epic Games launcher. Some folks swear by deleting this entire folder now and then to give their downloads a boost. It's said that clearing out this cache can sometimes fix slow download speeds. So, if you're feeling adventurous, give it a shot. If not, no pressure. Another step I take is to head into the settings, then navigate to the app section. From there, I click on Installed Apps and type in Epic Games Launcher. It should pop up right there. What I do next is click on those three dots and uninstall it. After that, it's time to reinstall. You can do this easily by heading to the website and downloading it again. This fresh install can sometimes help iron out any kinks causing slow download speeds. Another thing I do is run a Windows security scan on my PC. To do this, I just type in Windows security in the search bar and it pops right up. Running this scan is crucial because if there's a sneaky virus lurking in the background, it could be gobbling up your internet bandwidth without you even knowing which slows down your speeds. So, if the scan comes back clean, it's a relief. It means there's no hidden nasties munching on your bandwidth. And lastly, a golden rule. Whenever possible, opt for an Ethernet connection over wireless. Ethernet is hands down superior, faster, more reliable, and with lower latency. It's just the better choice all around. I personally recommend using a CAT6, CAT7, or CAT8 cable. They're all solid options that should serve you well. So that wraps up the guide on how to speed up your Epic Games launcher download speed. If you found this helpful, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.